words um, about the Briny Group. So I know everybody has heard about the Vegas story a lot now, but I um, am up here as the big, well, the little, littler big sister. Um, very proud, not only because I have a gorgeous, brilliant, unbelievably amazing younger sister, but also because I take a little bit of ownership in um, this whole union right here, since I was the one that dragged Courtney to Vegas on her 21st birthday, and that is where they met. So, I, along with my husband, feel just a little bit proud of that. Yeah, <laughs> yes, definitely, right? For life. So, um, I had a long list of advice that I wanted to give the couple here, but I feel like they covered it in their vows, which were perfect for them. Um, so, instead, I will just say to my sister that I love you, I admire you, I have always looked up to you for being the most thoughtful, loyal, um, Courtney is the type of person that has a, a head on her shoulder. She knows exactly what she's doing at all times. She's responsible, and um, Nate is very lucky. But at the same time, at the same time, and I've told Nate this a million times, I could not have picked, I know everybody probably says this at weddings, but I could not have picked a better person for Courtney. I mean, they are made for each other. They're both unique. They let each other be individuals. Um, they inspire each other every day. They share each other's passions. Um, Courtney's introduced the horse world to Nate. Nate's introduced all kinds of culture and sports and yeah, X Games and all kinds of things to Courtney. So I congratulate you both. I welcome you to the family, Nate, as well as the rest of the Morse family. And um, Courtney, I love you. You're beautiful, amazing, and that's it. Everybody have a great time. Well, as, a, uh, as the father of the bride, I'm just happy they invited me out to uh, walk Courtney down the aisle. Uh, to at least uh, relieve me of my uh, pet duties at home for uh, all of our little four-legged friends that are sitting back there wondering where the hell we are. Uh, but actually, and I've told, uh, I've told Sebastian a number of times how proud I am. Um, Sebastian, what he did in, in his uh, officiating was, was very touching. And I, I appreciate it very much, Sebastian. I, I'm kind of a weepy-eyed guy, you know, I try to act tough, but you know, when it comes to this kind of stuff, you know, I just kind of roll up and, you know, I, I tear up and I go in the corner and, oh, I have, I have allergies, I'm not crying. Uh, but Sebastian did a wonderful thing, he certainly didn't have to, and it meant so much, I'm sure, to Courtney and Nate because he was part of the family and that is part of the family and did this as opposed to somebody who's just kind of coming in and getting a fee and doing their thing. So I, I'm eternally grateful for Sebastian for doing that. Uh, I was very fortunate 15 years ago when this family of, of Stacy and Denise and Courtney, the three amigas, were very tight and they welcomed me with open arms, uh, boy, ex with the exception of Courtney. She uh, she kind of ran away for a while when I moved in, and uh, it, it, until uh, Stacy convinced her that I had a pretty cool sound system and CDs. Uh, Atlantis Four Set, I think, was the kicker. Uh, she kind of drifted back to the house and gave me a chance, and so uh, and it, it grew from there. Uh, Nate, a wonderful guy, I couldn't have picked better for uh, for my daughter. Uh, it, great to meet uh, to have the extended family and the Morrises and. All you guys uh, as part of the group now, so uh, thank you so much.